Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to my Logic Pro X tutorial mini series on how to make a synth riser five different ways. Each tutorial will explain how to make a synth riser in a different way. Even though I'm using Logic Pro in this tutorial series, you can use these ideas in just about any digital audio workstation. Let's get started. For our next riser, which is uh, along the same lines as a couple of the other ones, but it's more of a plucky riser. So the other ones were kind of consistently doing the same thing, either holding a note and rising it or playing the same note. This plucky riser will have uh, a bit of a rhythm to it. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So I'm gonna make a new MIDI track. I'll use my ES2 again. And then I'm just gonna go to the um, tutorial setting, the analog saw initial, but instead of a saw wave, I find for some reason I like the square wave here. So I'm gonna pick the square wave and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the first one and open up a second oscillator just so we can get a, a bit wider of a sound. So I'll go to this square wave here and then I'll do the same thing. I'll go up 10 cents and then down 10 cents here. And you wanna be, once again, in either mono and lega or legato. I, would, I prefer legato. Uh, there are some synth risers that I do where mono works the best, and I might do that in a different tutorial, but just for now I'm going to do legato here. So here's what we sound like. Okay, and then I'm going to turn the glide up a little bit, so like let's say up to eh, about 54. Maybe a little more, maybe like 100, 140. Uh, down, down uh, something like 96. We'll keep it like that. Whoops. Anyway, I'll get out of this now. And I'm, actually, before I do that, I'll turn the attack up a little bit, just to, so it's not as harsh. Anyway, now what I'm going to do for these eight bars is I'm going to make my new empty MIDI note, or MIDI region, I should say. And I don't know why. Oh, I know why. This is. I'm going to get rid of all these. I don't want any, I don't need any automation, so I'll turn that off and I'll hide that. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is basically make a rhythm with this synth that is still rising in pitch, but each, but it's gonna, instead of rising continuously, it'll rise each measure. So I'll do something like this. I'll make my new note, let's see, at, at this F sharp. And since the glide is on, I want the next note to start as soon as it can, basically. So really close to the other one. So here's what that sounds like. So it kind of sounds like a, like a, basically it's gliding the whole time that we hear it. And I'm gonna make it even shorter, a little bit shorter. Ah, maybe a little, little longer. And Here's my rhythm I'm going to do. I'm just going to do like one, two, three, four, and. So one, two, three, and then four, and. I'll do half note, uh, sorry, eighth notes here. So dot, 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 dot. And then I'm going to copy this MIDI region, and then I'm going to highlight them all, and then just move it up one half step. So, and then I'm going to do the same thing for the next two measures. And I'm going to bring them back up so the pitches are correct. So kind of like in the um, one of the other ones, we'll, we'll line this one up next to this so we know that we um, are have the right note. So now I'll zoom out a bit. Oh, no, that's not what I was trying to do. I'll zoom out a bit, and we can see that the notes are slowly going up each measure by a half step. So here's what it sounds like so far. And now since it's an eight bar rise, for the, for the last part I'm gonna speed it up, and I'm, just, I'm gonna do eighth notes. Instead of these quarter notes, I'm gonna do all eighth notes. And let's see where we're supposed to be. I'll zoom out a bit. So I'm gonna move these ones up. And then as after two bars of eighth notes, I'm gonna to move to 16th notes. So it's gonna sound 
like this. So dot 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 da 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 something like that. So and then instead of raising the the half step each measure, I'm gonna do each half a measure. And then I'm gonna do that one more for one more measure. Bring these up two, because that's how many we went up last time. And then for the last two measures, I'm going to do the same thing, but these eighth notes are gonna be sixteenth notes. Sorry for all the clicking errors. Oh, that didn't work. I'm going to make these notes a little shorter. For some reason, it's being a little weird here. So I'm just going to make these all a little bit lower. Or shorter, I should say. There we go. Now, since we're doing 16th notes, I'll do that for um, half the time. So I'll go up every quarter note. And then the last measure, I will do all 32nd notes, which will be kind of crazy. And it might not sound good. You don't have to do this, but this is just the idea, um, like I said earlier. Whoops. And once you get super fast like this, it's, it might sound like a totally different sound. So you, that's when you might want to say, okay, um, I might want to do something else. But here's what that would sound like. Let's see, comparison, okay. Bring these back up. And this should be fine. I could have uh, made them made eight of these in one measure, but four should be fine. So here's what the end will sound like. Okay, so here's what the whole thing sounds like from the beginning. So just the basic idea, um, on a lot of these, I would suggest putting some effects on it, like reverb, um, maybe some EQ, and chorus, flanger, phaser, any of those things, um, just to kind of make your sound wider, bigger, and fill up the whole room. If you like this video, or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this, and check out my original music, DJ performances, or DJ tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.